Yo guys, what's up? It's Kento from the Realm Geek, and today I'm showing you guys how to create um, variables in separate class files. So that would be um, uh, int strings and booleans today. So starting off, we're going to go into our main uh, package, right click and create a new class and call this variables. In here, we're going to remove this public of variables, and now we're just going to say slash slash uh, global, oh, I can't spell global strings oh my goodness I can't spell global strings let me adjust real quick all right now we're good so now we're going to do public uh, string prefix equals chat color dot green plus toot, uh, and then plus chat color dot aqua because why not so now we'll be able to call that string for anywhere. Now let's do a public, um, a public int called players and call this bucket dot get online players. So oh dot two size or dot size. So now we can create a public boolean um, has players, and let's call this false at the start. And yeah. So now what we can do is let's go into our methods file and on console send SMG, let's add um, up before our uh, public void, let's say variables, and this is how you call it. So variables, and then VB equals new variables, and then those. Now we can import variables, and if you do VB dot, and then prefix plus that, now it'll show our prefix before every console message. So now let's go a little bit in depth here and let's say if VB, oh, we have to call our uh, variable again, our variable class file again. So let's go here, variables, VB equals new variables. And now we can go down here. If VB dot players um, is greater than zero, then let's say if VB, VB dot players equals equals one then let's um, me dot send a console SMG um, one player let's do one player is online now uh, else so if there's anywhere above one we'll say M E dot send console message and then we'll say a VB dot players plus are online or uh, VB players, players are online. So that would be like two players, three players, whatever. All right, so now breaking out of this whole uh, thing, we're going to say else, me dot send a console, SMG, and let's say nobody is online. Now that this is done, we can right click, export, and go into console, reload. And as you can see, nobody's online since I'm not online. But if I join, and then once I get in, nice, I'm in. If we do a reload, you can see in a second, it'll show one player is online. And it says uh, two uh, plugin loaded successfully and two to one player is online. So yeah, that was just the basics of variables. If you want to learn more, make sure to subscribe because we'll be doing a whole series on this soon. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. This has been Kento from Around the Geek. I'll see you all right back here tomorrow. See ya.